Reconstruction. What's the reconstruction again? The process of reuniting the country and rebuilding the South after the Civil War. Oh yeah. What's the uh, Great Awakening? Uh, come on, man! It's right here. Oh. His name is Man. He's a man, he's a man, he's a man. U boats. Okay, U boats are German submarines used in World War II. Got it. Let me look it up on my computer real quick. Christmas pardons. Rebel leaders pardoned by the President Johnson. Around Christmas time. Hey guys, can you help me? I'm trying to learn the Indian New Deal and Black Power for the A push test, and I just can't get it. Well, type into my computer, see what I can find. <laughs> Indian New Deal, 1930s legislation that gave Indians greater control of their own affairs and produced further funding for schools and hospitals. Hmm. I remember this now. And um, Black Power had to do with the Civil Rights Movement, right? And that guy's name was... What was the guy? Uh, Malcolm X. Oh, thanks guys. You're welcome. I might actually pass it. So, interestingly enough, wasn't started because based just based on the whole idea of slavery, but the reason of section was that the problems between the North and the South divided. Stay the quiet section. and listen while the teacher is talking. If you fail to stay quiet, you'll miss out on an important historical event and its significance. <laughs> but really, truly, the problem was sectionalism. Too, uh, coincidentally. No! No! Always make sure you bring your charger with you because notes are very important in this class. They will be your best friend and you take them for every unit. <gasps> Thank you, Jenny. You saved them. I mean, no, I'm using it first. I you did. No. We're on the topic of the Civil War and we're talking about sectionalism. Who can tell me about the Emancipation Proclamation? What is it that you know about this important document? Make sure to always participate in class discussions. They'll help you and you'll be able to use your terms more fluently. Ooh, ooh, I know. So what's interesting about the fact that the Civil War was taking place was not that it was about the issue of slavery until later on, towards the end of the war, but more about sectionalism and the fact that the North and the South are fighting over power. You guys, are you listening? Hello? Wake up, listen to lecture. Make sure to pay attention during movies and lecture in this class. They are two of the most fact-filled information devices that you will receive. Stay relaxed and put the calendar put on corner to make sure that you're keeping everything on track. Not even worried about it. Oh, who are we kidding? We're not going to read. Make sure you do your A-push reading. We have daily quizzes and it can definitely come in handy. <laughs> Man, I don't know any of this. It doesn't make any sense. I think I'm just going to take an L on this one. Yeah, let's not do it. Make sure you do your worksheet packets. They have a lot of good review material that can help you for the test. We should do this. Yeah. Make sure you take a lot of notes. They are very good to help review for the A push test. You guys, take notes. 
Make sure you pay attention during the movie. They contain a lot of review materials and it's very helpful during this class. How are we supposed to do all these terms in time? There's no way. Oh, well, there's way too many. It's mission impossible. Make sure you do your terms. They're an important part of the workload in A-Push. Quizlet is a really good source to help you out. Man, I'm really stressing about this test. Oh, I know. It's going to be so hard tomorrow. What do we do? I should have played 2048 all year. Oh, we should have studied our terms. Don't wait to study until the last night, or you'll be panicking like these two. Uh, Playing games on your iPads instead of studying? Not a good idea. But since these two decided to wait so long, I'll give them the official cram packet. Whoa! What is this? This is gonna help so much. Thanks, man! <laughs> When will I ever use any of this? This test is so dumb. Like, why should I be learning this? Man, I really hate this test. But I really like turtles. Yeah. Pay attention to the questions on the unit test. Okay. The same questions you see here are going to show up on the actual and that's unit test. About, and that's about it for my section. For my section, only. Oh, I'm so tired. I should have got more sleep last night, and I have this test. Make sure you get plenty of sleep the night of the AP test, because you don't want to be tired when you're taking that test. There's no way I'm going to remember all this. There's no way all these notes are going to be in my head by tomorrow. There's an easier way to study. Just go on YouTube and look up U.S. History Crash Course. Just watch all the videos. Hey, you think I could get your terms? Uh, yeah, sure. Here you go. Sweet! <laughs> Don't copy terms throughout the year because you need these terms during the test. They actually show up. Uh, well, maybe I can do it myself. Thanks, Neil. When planning out your essay, make sure you have one intro paragraph, three body paragraphs, and one conclusion. And make sure to have CDs and commentary in, the, in those paragraphs. When writing DBQs, make sure you pay attention to the question and use those documents. Half plus one rule. And you have to write two FRQs. George Washington crossed the Potomac during World War I, right? Yeah. No, you dingus! Make sure you stay focused to the prompt, or you're gonna get an F. I don't know what I'm doing. Make sure in your thesis to involve a road map. <laughs> Slide, take one. <laughs> we can't.